Hello traders, this is Chris taking a look at the US dollar Japanese yen. You can see we continue to dance around the 50 day EMA at the end of the session on Friday. Not a huge surprise that it was quiet. It was the day after Thanksgiving in the United States. Worth noting though that the Japanese yen got absolutely pummeled against most currencies as the US dollar did. So now it's a fight between two lightweights. Longer term traders still look at this through the prism of interest rate differentials. Remember, you still get paid at the end of every day to hang on to a uh, swap in this pair. 50-day EMA rising at about a 45-degree angle does suggest a bit of a trend line type action. You could take a look at this through the prism of a potential trend line there as well. I've also seen more than once that the area right around 147 uh, continues to be an area of interest and therefore I'll go ahead and mark that on the chart. That's an area that we need to watch very closely. A breakdown below that level could shift the attitude of the market, but quite frankly, the Japanese central bank is in a situation where it cannot tighten monetary policy too much. With that being the case, I think that if we can break above the highs of the Thursday and Friday session, it's very likely we go racing towards 152 over the next several sessions. There is no jobs report this coming week. Friday is December 1st, and the BLS never releases that announcement until uh, the following Friday when that happened. So maybe a lack of jobs data may help us drift a little higher as traders continue to try to bet that the Federal Reserve may have to uh, loosen its monetary policy, but at the same time, recognize that the level of indebtedness coming out of Japan is something that simply cannot be supported by higher interest rates. Buying on the dips, at least as long as we stay above 147, continues to be uh, my preferred trade. If we can break out above 152, eventually we'll go racing towards 155.